It's Thursday, August 31st, and LG is back in the smartphone game with the new V30. A follow-up to the popular G6 and last year's V20, the new V30 is packing all of the new standard features for an Android smartphone phablet. A 6-inch screen with minimal bezels, Snapdragon 835 heartbeat, dual rear cameras, and 4 gigs of RAM to keep things moving along. But what really sets it apart is its gorgeous OLED screen, which features 2880 by 1440 resolution. The screen is definitely the thing, as video we watched looked, well, pretty amazing with inky blacks and vibrant colors, both hallmarks of OLED technology. It also has some neat software tricks, like this floating bar for making quick changes, and the dual rear cameras also have some special abilities up their sleeves. And with that great screen, it's perfect for phone-based VR fun. You'll just need to pick up a Google Daydream View headset for 80 bucks. Price wasn't announced, but we're expecting it to come in at right around $750, and it should come out pretty close to when Apple's new OLED-screened iPhone 8 hits. Hit the link for our hands-on review. Standalone earbuds like the Braggy Dash and Hear One paved the way for true cordless audio, and now tech icon Sony is getting into the game with a set of their own free-range earbuds. Attractively named the WF-1000X, the buds come in a case that will of course recharge them on the go, twice, and battery life is three hours, so plan those marathon workouts accordingly. Sony has included noise cancellation tech in the kit, and if you need longer battery life, there's also a pair of wired but wireless neck buds that bump battery life up to about 14 hours. Sony says the WF wireless model should sell for about $200. Sony showed off the new 1000X line of ear candy at IFA in Berlin, where DT staffers are checking out all the latest gear. So hit the link for full coverage of all the cool stuff they're finding at the show. Just a few days ago, we showed off Fitbit's new Ionic smartwatch. And now Garmin is hitting back with their third generation do-everything wrist computer, the VivoActive 3. Also just announced at IFA, the VivoActive 3 matches some of Fitbit's new features, including estimating VO2 max ability for you fitness nuts, and of course GPS for when you get lost while wildly running through the woods to bump up your numbers. And of course, once you pick your way through the sticker bushes to the nearest Dutch Brothers, you can pay for your latte pick-me-up with, of course, Garmin Pay. The watch will also run a suite of 15 or so apps. Past Garmin smartwatches have run over $500 or more, so it's nice to hear the VivoActive 3 will come in at just over $300, depending on options. And here we thought no one was interested in smartwatches. Guess again. Hey, check out all the tech news people are interested in at digitaltrends.com. We've got even more for you on Facebook and our YouTube channel, along with our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you go for your favorites. See you tomorrow, and thanks for watching.